Gentamo Head Start School in Ley was established by one of Morabe's educationist and early childhood author, Herring Koreka, and Sarah Nakao, who is the current principal. The school shares premises with the Morabe's Special Education Center at Eriku. A double celebration was hosted on Tuesday, Gentamo's 10th anniversary, as well as the launching of Koreka's new book on early childhood learning. Principal Nakao, who hails from CY in the autonomous region of Bougainville, said the Gentamo Head Start School initially started as an early childhood learning center, catering for children aged 2 to 6. As the years progressed, new grades were added. He met me at the training, and that was during the uh, early childhood or child development. And while he was presenting his, uh, this, his session, I was the one who was responding. Then he asked me, how did you know all these answers back? Then later I told him, I have attended, I was one of the teachers in the international school. And that's where he got me on. And we used to get together and discuss how to start this school. And then we started in 2000, he met me in 2010. After two years, we started the school. Nakao said they started the school from scratch, depending solely on school fees to pay their teachers. Starting with only four teachers and 50 students, the school now has eight teachers, 200 students and two ancillary staff. Well, I was really emotional when I saw the students, yes, but it was very emotional to celebrate. I recall back to where I started. It was really a challenge for me. I went through many challenges to start this school, and today we have celebrated our 10th year. So it's a great achievement for us, and also for Mr. Haring Gorapa to launch the book. In that book, you will see many inputs, and the photos in there are for Gentamo as well. Gentamo has had two grade eight graduations so far, where most of their students have been accepted into the nearby Lay Secondary School. Gentamo is a permitted school, meaning it is a recognized institution that does not come under the national education system. Carol Kido Jr., TV1 News.